Hello and welcome back. My name is Amulle and you are watching Tube Mint. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Django, the web framework, the very popular Python framework on Microsoft Windows 10. But if you've got Windows 7, 8 or 8.1, you should not have any issue installing Django on your system. So at this moment, you can see we, we have uh, Django version 3 which is the latest release of Django framework and the process hopefully is going to be the same as long as there is no change in the way Python and Django work. So let's go ahead and install Django. Before that we need to have a separate Python web development environment created. So what I'm trying to say is it's recommended by the Python community anything that you do like any package that you install on your system you should not install it system wide you should have a separate uh, Python development environment where you can where you should install any packages like Python package and then work from that particular environment. So we are going to first install the virtual environment on the system and activate it and then install Django. So let's get started. So we will first install the virtual env and activate it. So Python virtual environment. Let's go ahead and check if you already have Python installed. So Python Go ahead and launch your command prompt and type python space hyphen uppercase v and if you've got python installed on your system you should see you've got python and then the version of the python that you have on your system i've got python 3.8 which is latest version of python i also have pip installed with it so anything above python 3.x whatever python 3 and above whatever you install have installed you already have pip installed and it's there on your system so make sure you already have python installed if you have not installed and you want to install it right away go ahead and watch my previous video where i have shown how to install python and set it to the path as well so once that's done let's go ahead and launch the command prompt and quickly install the virtual environment activate it so go ahead and type this command pip sorry not php pip install virtual env and hit enter this is going to already satisfied so virtual environment is already there on my system but you will have to install it if you haven't installed it previously ever so i already have pip in, uh, sorry virtual environment installed i can go ahead and list it so you can see i've got virtual environment 16.7.8 which is the latest version of virtual environment now let's go ahead and clear the screen and create a virtual environment so i'm going to create a virtual environment named test env within this uh, particular folder that's user so anything that we are going to do here it will go under this folder so this is basically the user on the system and here we are going to create a virtual environment okay so let's go ahead and do that so you simply type vnv basically you'll have to type like this pi hyphen m when and the name of the of the uh, virtual environment test environment so let's go ahead and say test env but this is completely optional you can name it whatever you want it to now i'm going to hit enter and this is going to create test env folder within this particular folder so tube meant that's a folder that's the username basically now this is taking a bit longer on my system okay so it's been created now if i go ahead and check it 
you can see it has already created test env so now we need to activate it so let's go ahead and activate it. so to activate it you need to get into that particular folder so you'll simply say test env so it's not working basically you simply say like this test env and then you have to say script scripts and then activate so it's very simple name of the virtual environment so that in my case it's test env and then scripts this is like you have to type it after the name of the virtual environment you have to type scripts then you simply type activate and this is going to be activated once you hit enter so once you have got the virtual environment name here in the braces before this c column user and the username you are in that particular virtual environment and it's been activated now you can go ahead and list if you've got anything here so i'm going to say pip list this is going to list everything that we have within this particular environment this also says that pip version a 19 is, is is not the latest version so we need to go ahead and upgrade it so it's always recommended to keep your pip up to date so we will go ahead and type pi or python whatever you prefer install upgrade and then name of the package manager which is pip error okay so that is my mistake uh, you simply have to make sure that you type everything correctly so here we are you've got virtual environment created activated and we also upgraded the pip which is package manager for python now we will go ahead and install the django so simply say pip install django and this is going to install the latest version of django anytime you run this command okay so the latest release of django framework so at this moment it's going to be three i just hit enter so you simply type pip install django hit enter and you can see it's going to install python uh, sorry django 3 in a moment installing these collected packages that are required to run this django framework on your system so you can see here it says Django 3.0 and wheel that is another package should be installed along with Django. Now this may take a bit longer on the system because it's going to install many packages. Alrighty, so now you can see we've got successfully installed these packages. So let's go ahead and simply say pip list so this is going to list all the packages that we have installed within this environment so you can see we already have the django 3 installed now let's go ahead and quickly create an application so you simply say django admin start project and then the name of the project so in this case i'm going to say demo app so that's the command to create any uh, app like application with django framework so django hyphen admin start project one word and then the name of the app so it's been created if i go ahead and simply list dir like list everything in it so you can see somewhere so this is the test environment now we already have this demo app you can see here so i'm going to change the directory to demo app and now i'm going to quickly run it so you can see we have something within this and one directory three directory and one file so look at that now i'm going to run this application so once you've changed the directory you simply have to type manage dot pi run server to run the server 
Now when you run it for the first time, you might get some a window on the screen. There is some latest changes that took place in uh, Django framework or probably in Python. So you'll have to simply say yes or allow. And now you can see we got Django application up and running. Now I can go ahead and pull it up. So localhost high mm, column eight thousand. So our application is up and running here. It's taking a bit longer. I'm not sure why. Yep. Let me quickly refresh it. Here we are. So we already have our Django application up and running on Microsoft Windows. Okay, so that's it. In case if you want to have a look at the the file structure, what I can do, I can go ahead and launch another command prompt here. And I can activate the um, virtual environment. I can simply say test uh, name of the, t uh, the environment script. Sorry scripts basically activate and then here we are and then i'm going to change the directory to demo app and i've got set up everything like i can type sublime text sub sub l high space period and this is going to open this this application here within this with this uh, sublime text editor so that's all we have to run the server we are going to use this manage.py uh, file and then the keyword run by uh, server so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching this video please like share and subscribe to my channel if you have any question leave in the comment below i will try to answer it asap thank you and have a good day